I think Mr. Tactical Head Guy said it's going well. I think I just heard him say that on the phone. It's going well. Jamie, Jamie more than half, you know, 45 minutes. Hmm. Come on in. Wow. What happened was, mm -hmm. what happened was mm -hmm. I um got up this morning and come outside to sit down, and they just um a whole SWAT team came up and and just ambushed me. They ambushed me and said they got I got to get out the house How do you and sleep at night? How do you sleep at night? and they gotta um they gotta get to um get get my stuff out of here and and I'm just I'm just dumbfounded I don't know too much of nothing right now I just I, and just gave me my stuff and just told me to get out. At nine o'clock today, um, police. The marshal and the police came in like stormtroopers, about 15 to 20, um, to evict. At that point, just staying in the house was um, Kathy, you know, grandmother. Um, they came to forcibly evict her uh, with the moving truck. And so I'm out, and they're getting everything together. They're gonna put my stuff in storage. So that's what they're going. I don't know where I'm going now. So I don't know. And. Um, and yeah, they, they came with extreme force. We called people out um, to do that. And as they're moving their stuff out, um, five people, um, you know, chanting that housing is a human right, um, went up to nonviolently block the entrance. Fight, fight, fight. Housing is a human right. Fight, fight, fight. Housing is a human right. Fight, fight, fight. The people united will never be defeated. 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 Fight, 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 fight. The people united will never be defeated. The people. The people united will never be defeated. 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 Hey, people united. Stop hurting that young woman. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. Housing is a human right. Fight, fight, fight. 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 Housing is a human right. Did you touch your aunt yet? Yeah, she came over to my cousin's house earlier. How's she doing? She's doing good, you know, upset a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think about all this? It's stupid. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. All this just for an old, an old lady. Come on, she lives. She a widow. Her husband died. Yeah. You know, she's still mourning for that. And they come with all these people, the cops, and but it's good that y'all coming, y'all, y'all, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy though. There's no need for all this. It's really not. Yeah. If you could say uh, anything to Fannie Mae, what would it be? Um, stop this. Come on, it's, it's winter time anyway. It's winter time, it's cold. I wish she gonna go. If she ain't had nowhere to go, she ain't had family, where would she go? You'd rather her sit, sit down on the street or something, ask people for change? No. Just stop it. That's what, that's, that's what I want to say. And what would you say? What do, you, what do you have anything to say to the Rochester Police Department today executing this eviction yeah, by Fannie Mae? Oh, 
shelters are full. They're trying to put people in the jail. They're trying to put people out of their houses. I mean, everybody just going to say, I'm just taking orders? I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, when do people say, I'm not going to take orders? When is it too much? Stop taking orders. <laughs> I mean, it's a disaster. I, I, I mean, how much of a human rights issue does it have to be? When people don't have housing in this city, we've got vacant homes everywhere, people are breaking into homes, stealing the pipes. What does it take? I can't get a police officer here when, when people are trying to break into your house. I know it's not their fault, they're doing their job, but this, I'm gonna be letting the mayor know I'll be moving out of Rochester. I mean, just let the druggers come and do whatever they wanna do here. And let this poor woman whose husband died of a brain tumor have to go live in the homeless shelter. Honest to God. There's Batman and Robin here. <laughs> you just, well, it's not their fault, but honestly, you're breaking my heart. All of you. I hope that. It's really an embarrassment to the city. Oh, it's embarrassing. Really I've been 25 years here and try to keep this neighborhood decent and go and have a neighborhood watch. And, and then we got to send all these police to do this. Well, the house isn't going to do anybody any good vacant. It's putting this house. Uh, People, they just went to register at the county um, homelessness for emergency housing. Um, now the house is going to lay vacant. Um, the neighbors came out. They were just in fumes. They couldn't believe that this is happening. They're trying to call police cars when there's actual crime in the neighborhood and they can't get them. Now there's nobody called them from this neighborhood, but yet yeah, 20 police cars came out. And so. I'm so sad. The bank can do this while there is the rule of law. And I'm also very sad the police is helping the back, not the uh, Kathy, not the her kids, not the people, but the, the police is helping the bank. The bank and the police are one people. That is what I'm sad about. We're at the tail end, the cops are dissipating now and the, the uh, eviction watch is dissipating. The tail end of an effort to try to keep Catherine Lennon in her home. She uh, was being evicted even though she was willing to pay for her mortgage. There were many mix-ups in her paperwork. Uh, there's a, a rumor that one uh, attorney stole her papers and uh, has refused to give them back or to pass them on to her current attorney. And the attorney handling these, these uh, uh, evictions, in from, he's from Buffalo and he handles upstate New York evictions, uh, is under indictment now and famously uh, unjust. His evictions don't stand up in court and it's a, it's a horrifying situation, people losing their homes. For what? What's this for? Hey, you know what, Steve? Everyone gets pushed out to the uh, block off to both ends of the street. Tape street. it off down on both ends. Are you serious? What's the arrest for? What's the charge? 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 Dirty work? Excuse me, but you're going to ask us to leave this sidewalk? I'm asking you to move that way. So I need you to move. You've got more. Charge it under the He cut Kitty Corner across the um, the yellow tape line, and they they swooped down on him like freaking wolves. A 19-year-old boy shackled him up and put him in the in the police car. Why trying to just walk five feet away from you guys? Go get that. Wow. Go, folks. Got to go down the end of the street. Got to go down the end of the street. Thank you. One of you. Crazy Thank people you, you are. Back down the end of the street. Keep thing. moving, please. So Sir, keep moving, please. Cheers, Patrick. Ronnie! 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 Ronn
That's a real, that's really nice. She's a nurse. All right, Hulk, keep moving, please. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you very much. You got to keep going, please. Folks, you got to keep moving that way, please. Keep moving, please, sir. Yep, please. Okay. Want, um, uh, seven arrested. Uh, that was actually done by the commander of the special forces, commander of the Rochester SWAT. Um, you know, smiling, joking. You know, um, Farina. And um, yeah, it's 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 really it's really a travesty here. Oh, we got you, boy. This is my house, and I want you off my property. I want you off. This is a sign. Oh, we can't. You can't be on no, you're gonna be in the public place and you gotta be down there. If you wanna be on the property, then stay on the property. You really think you can get away with this? What? You're the commander. I mean, you, hey, come on, man. You, you know gotta the deal. have some accountability. You know deal. We do know the deal, yeah, unfortunately. I know, you know the one that's wrong. You're straight up wrong. We only pay your salary. You work for us. You're doing a terrible job. Just something else. Thank you. Just something else, right here. So they just arrested your neighbor now. You guys, it's our name. No, they, they arrested you. I know, I'm sitting down here trying to tell them not to take me. Take, take me. They got territorial. This is too sick. Looking for Ryan? Please, Ryan is right here. Can you come talk to me, please, Ryan? Come on. She got, I'm sorry. Stay here. Pardon me. Do you stay here? This is my house. I May I see some identification? Oh, can someone she's help a, me? Yeah, but I don't she's on her own property. Why does she have I need to, to show her her identification? Make sure that she belongs here. If she belongs here, you guys want to stay with her? They need to get uh, off the public sidewalk and stay on her property. But we're on her property. Really this is a public okay. sidewalk. We are really Anybody talking about these, this quarter yeah, of an inch here? It's just, Man, yes. how do you live with yourself? We, we, we can't obstruct anything. Okay. And you're going to get you're gonna keep these folks on, the on your property? You need to stay on your property. You get off the property? Then you're going to go down the street. You know, when I was in junior arrested. high, there used to be a game. There'd be Thank a you. line, and people would stick their toe over what the line. What was his name? What was his name? Yeah, officer, what's your name? Um, they just blocked off the whole block. On the dispatch, they said that, you know, block off the streets um, because uh, we don't want to let the media in. Um, can we just get her someplace safe? She has nowhere to go. She has a place to go, but the longer I, I, I am kept from getting her there, the fewer options she has. When, when um, Kathy was doing <laughs> interviews, the police social worker came to take her away immediately. Um, you know, real nice to bring her, take her to the county immediately so she wouldn't be able to do interviews. My name's Doug, and I'm, I'm trying to help her find a place to stay. When they're done here on Shane, are they going to help you find a place to stay? I don't know. All right, well, let's go. I'll take you down. Uh, I want to talk to you about the store. So can we please go? It's our understanding, it's like our understanding so, that your real listen. job was to keep her away can, can from I the cameras. No, my job is to help her find a place no, to stay, that, that period. So give, That's not to why I took her you. away. Why I took her away. This is not a badge. This is an ID. Why is it police? I work for the police. I'm a social worker. For the police? Yes. Who would do that? Me. Who would do a job? <laughs> I'm on your side. I help people. There's nothing about the police on our side yeah. right now. This woman is being mistreated in every possible way. None of them are all Well, uh, I think at the moment that. Uh, that we stop Liz, who is a 70-year-old, maybe a little older, 70-year-old woman who was here in her pajamas and lives like trying to street. defend. She's a neighbor, yeah. and she came rushing out. She's a friend of Catherine's. She's been so distressed by this. She's tried to work with Catherine to find a way for her to pay the mortgage and figure out how to get in touch with the shysters handling this case. And she's done everything she could. She's been out on the front lines here for days. and. Uh, so she was horrified that this was happening and she was talking to the police and my understanding is, I didn't see her because I was talking to you, my understanding is she tried to talk to the officer, he said if you say one more word I'm arresting you, Liz said one more word. 
So now we have an elderly woman in her pajamas arrested. And the group went berserk. You can imagine Liz is uh, not dressed warm enough. She's being mistreated and uh, uh, sobbing. And so, so uh, uh, everybody rallied around her and the cops drove us back. They wanted to drive us to the end of the street, but we all shouted out we were going to visit uh, our friend Louise. So we're on her property now. Um, so, um, yeah, this is just uh, um, um, incredible hypocrisy. They come with force to, for people who are just trying to enforce their human rights and, of course, you know, obstructing them, you know, um, you know, you know, you know, arresting people, pushing people out of the way, getting people, moving families out of the homes. The whole thing is, is outrageous. <laughs>